All right, folks, I don't know if you can hear me over the noise of the generator, but I thought I'd give you this um, little video um, explaining what I'm doing here on the lathe currently. Yeah, it's an interesting little job. Basically, all I'm doing is uh, making a nut, okay? This is the nut that I'm going to be um, uh, using on the grinder, which is another small video series I have. Um, <clears throat> I've worked out that the um, the pitch on the thread is a uh, 12 TPI, or 12 threads per inch. Now, I did a little bit of uh, checking on the, the Myford ML7 uh, lead screw or inch pitches, yeah? And you can see here you have a TPI of 12. Now, the feet per revolution is there, but that's of no real re relevance to me. Now, the driving wheel is 40, right? Bear that, remember that. The idle wheel is, or the first stud, is 50. There's nothing on the second stud, and the lead screw a spur gear is 60. So that's 60 teeth, 50 teeth, and 40 teeth, right? So I was up last night, and um, this is the actual gear train um, that I've used. Uh, 60 on the lead screw. 50 on the first stud and I've had to remove the gear off the key on this say, a small assembly and put a 40 on there. Now, there's still play there, yeah. I've never gotten around to making shims up, but uh, I did have the lathe running last night. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm uh, still getting over this uh, cold, I've still got a chest infection, yeah. So pardon me if I have to make some uh, noises during the course of this video. Right. <coughs> so that's the setup, right? Um, I think it's correct. We'll see, okay? The other thing I had to do, um, which was a job that I had been meaning to get around to, but just I'd never found the chance, was... Um, to fabricate a small uh, Allen key for this little Allen bolt in there, okay? That Allen bolt engages and disengages or basically retains this small catch which either engages or disengages this gear here. Basically this allows you to engage and disengage the the bull wheel or the back gear as it's called. With this engaged you've got a you've got three a low low RPM but high torque gears yeah so that's that's good for a uh, drilling larger holes or screw cutting okay So that was two jobs I, I did on the setup last night. The third job was uh, grinding up this small um, thread cutting tool. As you can see it's tiny, eh? but the hole I've got to get inside is pretty small. I would, I would normally use a tap, but I don't have a tap of the correct pitch or diameter and I'm not spending money on that to use it once, okay? Now, it's a Whitworth thread, okay? So, the point of this tool has been ground up to 55 degrees. I'll see if I can get a shot on that for you. I'm not entirely satisfied with the tool, but I think it will do. Um, the light conditions here are pretty poor, but I'll try and do my best for you. Right. 
basically you can't see any daylight between the tip of the, the tool and um, the thread form gauge okay uh, when I had the tool out uh, when I was grinding it last night it was uh, pretty accurate I'm quite happy with it it took me quite a while to do um, getting the relief was one of the largest issues um, you know the hole is small the uh, curvature of the hole is quite acute so the relief on the um, on the underside of the thread also has to be quite acute, you know, just so it fits in. Now there's a fair bit of meat that'll be removed from this tool. Um, the relief on the back also needed a uh, dressing up, and it took me a few attempts to get it down to size. Now whether or not that's going to snap now when I try to cut with it or if it's going to deform I don't know okay we'll just have to um, see what happens now I've estimated well I've measured the depth of the nut is nine millimeters okay I'd like to give a, a mil or mil and a half maybe two millimeters as a a face washer on this end here yeah before I part it off so in total 11 and a half 12 millimeters okay I've measured from here that the point of the tool to there that's my maximum depth right that's 12 millimeter with this front of the tool though I'm, I'm basically nearer 15 mil the depth of the hole is currently 15 millimeters, so it's a little bit close for my liking. I don't have a, well I do have a tool actually. I, I'd, I'd ideally like to put a small recess at the back, but I don't know if I'll go ahead with that at this time yet. Uh, well, my first day, uh, order of business is to drill the hole a little bit deeper uh, and I'm set up to do that now so um, without further ado I'm going to turn the lathe on All right. okay as you can see it's uh, running in the slowest gear possible it's um, whatever end seems to be running sweet there's very little noise coming from the change gears not a lot of vibration I really need to do something about this area I think this is a, a catch hazard I, I don't like it uh, if the box was a little bit closer you could quite easily see that the handle could catch on the top of the box damage your handle trap your hand there's all sorts of concerns there that I'm I'm not particularly uh, satisfied with so I need to I'm not talking about putting a guard around here but I certainly need to make this area um, remove the clutter from this area put it that way now here's a couple of the uh, recess tools um, that I've got uh, I might actually use them yeah but they uh, will see yeah they'll, they'll need to be ground up a little bit they're quite blunt Oh, sorry, it wasn't in, it wasn't in the camera focus. This is the recess tools here. They're quite blunt, and I'll need to grind them up. So um, I've also got this little one here. I don't know where I got this one from. I've had this one lying around in my toolbox for a fair while now. That's more. A, a, no, sorry. Once again, I'm holding it up for my vision and not the camera. Um, that's a little uh, boring bar I've got, but it's, it's a little bit too um, wide to fit the, the bore that I'm currently working in. So this one is too good to lay waste, so I'm gonna add on to that one. I'll, uh, I'll maybe grind one of these ones up. Right, um, let's see if I can get
Okay. Right. Um, I'll give it a squirt of some oil. Could be doing we've been a little dead not the drill but the the chuck could be running a bit faster for this operation but I'll just a uh, pick at it Sunday afternoon. I'm feeling particularly lazy this this uh, afternoon, so I was up quite late last night. Right, I might have to um, speed this up a little bit. Bear with me. We open up the uh, pulley guard, we uh, release the tension on the, uh, the pulley shaft. You can see now all uh, the pulleys are flap and slack, and you can simply just move the pulley over onto the, or the pulley belt rather, over onto the uh, required diameter of pulley that you, you require. Tighten up the, um, the shaft tensioner again and reclose the guard. Right? Doesn't take long, it's just a bit of a fiddle. You know, the lathe at work has a, a variable speed control on a dial. You know, it's all connected through an inverter so you can just set the chuck to any speed that you wish just with a turning or a dial. In some ways it's a great idea, but in other ways I think it takes some of the the thought away from the, the craft or the trade and I don't think that's a good thing. Right, okay. We've got slightly faster speed now as you can see. A little bit noisier. But for all the time that we're going to be running it, I just want to get maybe an extra 5 or 10 mil depth from this hole. things I'd like to do in the future is either manufacture a new um, <clears throat> quill for the tailstock or possibly uh, have this one removed and then get the uh, graduations or increments marked on the barrel just so I can have a indication of how far I've uh, drill the hole or you know tap the hole now this is actually a, a shaft of a large bolt so it's pretty tough and when I initially drilled the hole 
Ah yeah, I did a sent the drill, a, a pilot hole, and um, then I drilled it out to size. All I'm doing at the current currently is making the, the back of the hole a bit deeper just for clearance for the the boring bar, okay, or the thread cutting bar, thread cutting tool. Um, and it's slightly undersized. So I won't be affecting the diameter of the actual uh, the hole which is taking the thread. By right I should have done a centre hole, but just for time, because I'm already at quarter an hour, um, I've omitted to do so. So that hole is now, I'd say, maybe an extra 5mm um, deep, maybe possibly a little bit more. I'll just um, take my depth gauge here. Bent nail. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still not very well, huh? Yeah, so I'm, I'm feeling there the now just for the beginning or the step which is left by the or the, the correct term fails me. But well, this point here on the drill, that's where that's the that's the point where she cuts at the full diameter, and then after that it starts tapering off to the point. Okay, so I'm I'm feeling for this step here inside the hole with the nail. Yeah, so do that at an angle, keep it tight, pull it in close, flush with the body or the side of the hole, and then use your nail like that. So. That's currently the sort of depth I'm at. Um, I've got a steel rule here somewhere. only short reading about 15 there at the moment eh so that's not satisfactory I need to take more off than that so I'm gonna leave it at that now folks because I've I'm already fast creeping up in 20 minutes um, I'm going to lay like, carry on uh, working on this the now and uh, when I start when I'm ready to start the screw cutting um, portion I'll maybe set the camera up and um, Show you some of the footage of my screw cutting. Um, so until next time, hope you've enjoyed the video, and um, see you soon.